Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. And today we're going to be seeing what difference a set of aftermarket brake pads makes to my Accord. So what brake pads did I end up going with? Well, if we take a step back, I decided pretty early on in my ownership of this car that the brakes sucked. <laughs> All it took was one track day for me to realise that the stock brakes on this thing barely last any more than a lap or two. So I put out a question on the AUS Euro Facebook page and basically said, my brakes suck, help. And they did. They suggested that I get some decent aftermarket brake pads, first of all. They also suggested that I get some DBA slotted and drilled rotors. And they also suggested I get some CU2 calipers along with some braided brake lines and high temperature brake fluid. So that all sounds pretty reasonable and I was assured that it would make a very big difference to my braking performance. Well, I went shopping hit the uh, checkout button and discovered that I was about to be billed $1,847 and you would have seen a couple of weeks ago I've already spent over $10,000 modifying this thing plus all sorts of other costs and everything and I just decided that given I go on a track day about once or twice a year I could live with the brake fade and didn't need to spend that much upgrading my brakes. So what did I do instead? Well, I just bought some Hawk Performance brake pads off Speed Science and the link to get them will be down in the description. And I thought it would make for a good video to do the opposite of what I normally do, which is give it some beans. And instead, give it some brakes and see how much better this car stops with the new brake pads in it. So there we go, on the stock brake pads I managed to stop in 33.3 metres, which is not half bad. But now let's see what it can do with the Hawk Performance pads. And there we are, with the Hawk Performance pads it managed to stop in 31.2 metres, so it shaved a solid 2 metres off the uh, 100 km an hour braking distance, which is really not half bad at all. Now another interesting test that I wanted to do, uh, I have this RaceLogic V-Box here, which I don't really use too often, and I figured it might make for an interesting test to see how the 0 to 100 to 0 time compares to when this car was stock. So, I'm only going to do it the once because it's really not great for this thing. But if you have a look at this, here we go. So, the 0 to 100 to 0, 9.8 seconds. So, we've shaved 2.2 seconds off the 0 to 100 naught time. Uh, 0 to 100 in 6.3, which is not my best, but uh, it was the best I could do for now. It's pretty, you know, my best was 5.8. Uh, 0 to 60 in 2.9, that's, that's pretty quick, man. This thing really gets off the line, eh? Uh, the magic number, by the way, is 9.8 seconds, 0 to 100 to 0, and 6.3 at least was what I did there, 0 to 100, which is pretty darn fast, man. Like, this thing is no slouch at all. So there we go. Even with just a set of brake pads, I can confidently say that the braking is definitely improved on this car. It's like, the pads are so strong, it literally just smashes ABS from pretty much any speed below 100 k's an hour. And the other parts of this, which is important, is, of course, brake fade. And the most recent track day that I went on that you can check out by clicking up here uh, I can confidently say that brake fade was virtually eliminated I wasn't going too hard because I didn't really want to absolutely pound this thing around all day and the people that I went up with were in slightly slower cars so if I gave it the full beans all the time I'd just be disappearing I still had problems with the rotor warp the rotors on this car are a bit wobbly when they get hot but yeah I had no issues with brake fade the whole time which was fantastic the only disadvantage to these pads I can see is that they make a lot of brake dust but overall I'm really happy with them uh, they've served their purpose very well and I've saved myself an enormous amount of money and got the improvements that I was looking for oh yes VTEC thank you so yes I would absolutely recommend installing some decent brake pads on your car you get out and do a bit more sporty driving it just really improves the fun factor that you're able to have because you're not having to worry about your brakes cooking themselves every five seconds which is absolutely fantastic 
Oh, oh, this thing is glorious. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Kiwi Car Life. And if you want to see me installing some other modifications on this car, then click over here to see me installing headers, which gives a really noticeable power increase to this car. And click over here to see me installing a Type I gear set, which is why this thing can absolutely bang gears in those 0 to 100 sprints. And I will look forward to seeing you again next time. Oh, yes.